right, so what is up fellow YouTubers? My name is Mike, that's Eddie. Hey guys. And this is the MDH Automotive Channel. And as promised, we are heading over to Livermore right now to go look at a car. You guys figured out what that car is yet? I'll give you another hint. It was in one of my old videos. If you go back on my Shelby video, you will actually see this car. So um, it's, like I said, a bucket list car. It's turbocharged. I think that's all the hints I'm gonna give them. So <laughs> yeah. So we're heading over there right now. Should be there in about 30 minutes and you guys will see exactly what I'm looking at. Okay, I don't know if this looks familiar, but there it is. 1987 Buick Turbo Regal. We get to see all of it this time. So they gave me a couple items and I made this tool that curved around. Oh, yeah, it's really clean. That's what I remember thinking. Because I remember seeing all this polished stuff and like that. And actually, I was joking with you because I said, oh, it's all stock, right? Because I didn't think it was. And you were like, yeah, stock. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, you have you have uh, certain upgrades on it. This this is what, you know, to it. get small, I have to take this off. This is upgrade map sensor from a, from a 95 uh, SS Malibu. Okay. And so, and I've got a translator sitting right here. So the translator's talking to the... Uh, ECM, East, and then the, and Translator talks to this. Close. Because he can you impound know. your car if you don't have that. That's right. So this is just, uh, yes, okay, fine. You dicks, I'm going to put this on there just, just because you guys are just pains in yeah, the that, ass. And that's all the same brand. That's all they're going to basically look at. That's right. I always like these kind of wheels, too. Yeah. But he's got the other wheels. That I'll have to show he, you a picture he, if you he, sent me a picture. Yeah, it looks really good, too. I mean, I like well, they're these. Like, but they're, they're like GNS. That's yeah. why I switch them. I'll, I'll put them on. Different look. For a while, then I'll switch them back. Different look. Well, yeah. You said this thing's got what, well, like, it's under forty thousand miles. You said, right? Thirty-nine. Uh, um, Thirty-nine two. So, just a little past broken in. <laughs> Who listens to the radio? I think that up with a plug there. <laughs> All right, now I can actually walk around it. Yep. Rare T, one rare T. A couple little dents there. Something fell on there. Something, yeah, something hit it. That's not anything major though, no creases really in it. No. You know how it's gonna go. It's gonna go right in the shot with everything else. Right. And it'll be taken out once a month and driven around with everything well, else. I'm, I'm gonna have to come down. You de yeah, I told you, you definitely gotta come down. I mean, you definitely gotta come down, Lynn. You gotta see all the toys. I do. You need to get some nice ones. I love my job, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where else can you drive everything in front Yeah, she's pretty. Got a few little dings and dents that could probably be knocked out, but I mean overall, man, that's typical 80s paint. But it's clean. God, I'm getting too old. Oh, oh yeah, the differential cover. Yeah, yeah. And you look, you looked underneath there, and. Do you get underneath here with a brush or something? You <laughs> don't even see dirt under here. That's clean. <laughs> this guy's serious about his cars. He's a no he's he's. he's underneath. It really is. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah. You guys can see, but this thing is like really clean. Oh, that little the window paper or whatever. No, that, that one is tech. just uh, telling you what what the they put it in here. Oh, okay. For for your for your uh, uh, cigarettes. Okay. North unit cushion room on night shift at Bach Flint Assembly Plant, <laughs> Flint, Jeez. Michigan. Right. This seat was made at the north unit cushion room huh. on night shift at the Flint Assembly Plant. That's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. And now in Grand Nationals and T-types, mm -hmm. we have we have uh, it on the call, uh, on, 
on the console down. Console, yeah. Console. So I know some of them came with a bench seat. Come, some have this like yeah, console set. Yeah, this one here has has this, which is super rare. Super super rare. You could tell though that the sun. When I when I park this, everything gets blanketed. Everything that that back there gets blanketed. You don't have to do it, it if you got in your in your. Uh, my shop yeah you don't have to do that but everything gets blanketed it's the way it, it's supposed to be okay it's the way i treat them that's the way it will be that's why it looks like it looks yep and i never never go ahead and run this guy and have any yahoo fun until it might tip so there you go this is scam mask scam mask is going to tell you everything about this engine what's going on how it's going on you got here it's your it's your uh, af and you I, I can get on uh, this is your battery voltage that's your in, integra which is exactly where it's supposed to be here's the bl i was telling you about now it's at 121 perfect okay all right miles an hour of course with nothing there that's the uh, uh your coolant 162 and your your revs your tps 144. Yeah, see I, I told you for 44 and 42. Mm -hmm. IAC 61, perfect. It's as, it's as counts, it'll just count through the whole thing for you. <coughs> okay. But this is mal codes. It'll call it, give you mal codes. There you are. Cool. We get a lot of information right off that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's where you have to have that. Hey. I like that sound. I like that, that blow off. <laughs> This, I love a car that's well taken care of. Yes. This here has also the factory. Oh wow! Look at that. Engine. That's cool. It has uh, uh, on the back side, yeah, on your on your uh, uh, you have positive traction. And I I always if I'm in a situation I'll. I could drop it into low, but I, I, I'd much rather just leave it in drive and it does its own thing right. on, on the boost. There's your boost gauges and your RPM. Okay. Pulls good. I like it. I know. <laughs> I didn't know that they had that back then. Nope, I installed it. Did you really? Yeah. I was gonna say I, I didn't think that was an option back in the 80s. Nope. So there's your wind. There's your wind factor, uh, which is not that good. Playing now. Yep. 65 miles an hour, no wind. That pulls good. Yeah, I mean, it really does. All right, so through the magic of YouTube, it is actually a couple days later. I know the big question on everybody's mind is, did you end up buying the car? Yep, I ended up buying the car. Either that or I successfully stole the car, which, hey, if he doesn't know, it's all good, right? But no, I ended up buying the car. Um, really, there was really no negotiation. I had already talked to Lynn, the owner, on, on the car, and... I knew where he was at, what he wanted for it, and everything like that. It was just a matter of kind of figuring out what extras I was going to get with the car because there was a number of things. He's got a ton of extra parts. He's still got a ton of extra parts. I may buy some of them off of him um, here down the road. But uh, there was a few things I didn't want with the car, and I'll go into more detail on that when I actually do the video on this car, which should be coming pretty soon. But I'm going to save the video on this car for another day. It will be coming very, very soon. I promise you that. And then I also I went to a... a um, uh, 
car show last night uh, with the 1956 Chevy that is running again, and we got that fixed. I should say Eddie got that fixed. It was a fuel pump, and that was great. So that was doing good, and I so I did do that, and I did a video on that. So that video, I will be uploading that video in the next couple of days. Um, so, but yes. One of my bucket list cars I did pick up. Um, actually, the Grand National was the bucket list car, but you know this is basically the same car, just different color. So set up the same, same, same drivetrain, same everything. And like I said, a video will be coming on this vehicle. If you don't know about these vehicles, you don't know what the Grand National was, uh, the, the Buick Regal Turbo, or what have you. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to explain, and um, it's really a very iconic, uh, very historic car, and I will talk about that more. So look for that video. But um, if you like this video, and God bless you if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're stopping in for the first time and haven't already, definitely subscribe to this channel. If you're an automotive enthusiast, this is the place you want to be. Uh, P.O. Box and Instagram are going to be in the description below. And with that, God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.